back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a book of my favorite artist's work. I saw this book at Books A Million for only $7 and I freaked out. Like, oh my gosh. Books like this are usually only about, I mean, they're usually way more than $7. I bought a similar book when I was 12 from this artist. Um, I think it was $25 at the time, so I was so shocked to find it at this price. But before I jump into the flip through, I just want to tell everyone that I am going to be having two new videos coming up soon um, in the next couple weeks. Um, I meant to put them up probably this week, but I'm having difficulty learning all the editing tricks and programs so uh one video is going to be talking about advice for selling your art at festivals and another is about cutting down costs uh being an artist so you know how to save money type of thing and in each of those videos there's going to be a speed painting of me creating something the first one will be a pelican and the other one will be an octopus. So if you're interested in seeing something like that, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. All right, so anyways, let me just go ahead and show you this book before I start the flip through. It's Josephine Wall, Josephine Wall's uh, Celestial Art. This, it's so, so pretty. I. She is my all-time favorite artist. Oh, and here's the back. Yeah, I, I have another book very similar to this one, but this one has a lot more of her new stuff than the first book. But at the same time, this is also smaller and the, the images aren't, they don't cover the whole page like my other one. So without further ado, let's jump into the flip through. All right, so here's the book, and I'll give y'all, you guys, a little bit of a close up because this work is so detailed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, one day I'll be able to paint like that. And here's the back: the stunning mermaid riding a seahorse. Look at those colors! Oh my goodness. Alright, so let's start the flip through. Look at this, a fairy in a pond. It's so cute. So here's the table of contents. Let's see, there's a forward and Josephine Wall, A Celestial Journey, Artistic Techniques, Skills, and Inspirations, A Cast of Characters, Mother Earth and Nature, Unicorns and Dragons, Spirits and Angels, Fairies and Elves, Native Folklore and King Arthur, Josephine's Contemporary Fancies, Further Journeys into Fantasy, and Acknowledgements. So like this is also about her life and her process being an artist and why she paints certain things. So I'll be reading this soon. There's the forward. And look at this one. I wish this book had the titles, but it doesn't have the titles of the paintings. Unfortunately, the other one does. And look at this one. I think most of the one's called Catching a Shooting Star. Uh, hang on, let me see if I can change that glare. 
then there's a shadow. Mm. Okay, that's better. I love this one. And if you guys aren't too familiar with her work, you you might have seen her work before because um, I know at Walmart they have puzzles of her work. This one's pretty cool. It's almost like Inception because look, there's a fairy. She's holding a doll. And then her doll's holding a doll. And you can't really tell because, but um, even that tiny doll's holding a doll. It goes on and on. <laughs> Hang on, let me show you. Flying carpet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Her, her use of color is just phenomenal. And I have more uh, fantasy art books similar to this that I could show you guys. Just let me know if you're interested in that in the comments. I have... Books by Amy Brown. She paints fairies mostly. I have uh, stuff by Brian Froud. He he does the the kind of style uh, similar to um, if you've seen the Dark Crystal or the Labyrinth. He paints fairies like that, like the puppets, but it's on in watercolor instead of puppet format. His wife actually worked on those movies with Jim Henson. So, yeah, him and his wife are very similar artists, except she does puppets and he actually paints. But they're the same type of creatures, same kind of look. There's the one that's on the back cover. This might be a long video because this book is pretty big. Yeah, this was a well spent $7. I, I, I think I know this one's called um, Bygone Summers. This one's also in the other book. Yeah, some of the pages stick to each other. And I'm pretty sure this one's called Painting the Dawn. This is really cool. A tiny little mermaid. I wonder if this artist will ever convert her paintings into coloring books. That would be tricky, but man, that would be so cool. 
I mean, if they could do it with Thomas Kincaid's work and the fairy, no, not the fairy, the Disney coloring book that recently came out, then they can do it with this book. That would be awesome. Oh, here's a full page spread. And in, in, inside each leaf is a, a different scene. Here's a wedding. That's a little house. A unicorn. A ship at sea. A little girl holding a puppy. And so on. Oh, and in each of her paintings, she hides faces in the background. It's kind of fun looking for the faces. I love this one. So cute. Oh, I want to be able to paint like this. Oh my goodness. One day, one day. Gotta work really hard to get there. Yeah, she has a lot of paintings with bubbles like this. Those are some of my favorite ones. The bubbles always have something else in it. Oh, and this page is all the zodiacs. I'm not going to zoom in on each one because that's too many. But I'll go ahead and show you mine. Mine's Capricorn right here. I'm pretty sure this one's called Spirit of the Unicorn. Very, very pretty. And I think that's Mother Earth or, or something like that. This one a lot. She looks sassy. <laughs> Love it. And I'm pretty sure this one's called Under a Wisteria Moon. I really love this because I love wisteria. It's my favorite flower. It's so pretty. I wonder if this is one of our earlier works. I don't know. Still really cool. There's the cover again. This is also the cover on her other book too.
a little nature boy. And she's a mermaid, and instead of like listening to the ocean, she is looking into our world through a seashell. This one's really cool. I think this one's called Spirit of the Ocean. Something like that. It's kind of like, kind of reminds me of the, the island goddess at, in Moana. This one, I'm pretty sure it's called Once in a Blue Moon. I love this one. I love the castle on her head. I love the wolves. I love the owl. Everything. And this one. This might be called Dragonfly. Get it. This one is the Three Graces. I'm pretty sure this one was one of the Greek goddesses, but I'm not sure which one. So cool. She has a couple more paintings like this with the, like um, ships and a starry ocean. Right, uh, I think that's the last one. Yep. The end. Well, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and please leave in the comments for suggestions for future videos if you want more like this with other art book flip throughs let me know or i have plenty of books like that to make videos for well without further ado have a great day bye